Howdy. Uh, for this video, I was going to kind of go over how I was going to set up my personal game for Curse of Strahd I'm going to be doing at the beginning of the year. Uh, but uh, I'm going to probably have, you know, a loading screen, you know, either this one or something something different. I had another one that I pre-built before that I liked a little bit better. But just something generic -y, uh just going to have something playing in the background just to kind of give, you know, a good ambiance before the game actually starts in case, you know, people load in a little early. But that's all on that. And so we will go to the actual good fun part of this video. So, uh, however, everybody, you know, ends or gets up in Bar or gets into Barovia will be, you know, dependent on for the characters and everything like that and how how it all transpires. But uh, I went ahead and pre-set up a lot of the areas uh, ahead of time to save myself a little bit of time in the long run. So. I'm doing a lot of pre-work to make the actual gameplay and everything go a lot smoother. So, you know, as they're, you know, walking on the road and they're, you know, exploring, I'm going to block off a lot of certain areas in the map so that way they can't just, you know, metagame it and be able to see, you know, anything like up at the top or down. But, you know, just keep it very, you know, realistic that it's like, oh, hey, I can see, you know, a thousand feet across this and blah, 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 and looks like there's a lake over there. So trying to avoid all that and then also you know, give me the description, everything of everything as they're exploring. So, uh, especially like if as they're walking up and they see the gates of Barovia, you know, I can, you know, describe that to them, send the picture out so they can kind of see. But to say if they say, you know, hey, I'd actually like to explore the gates, then, you know, I can set it up so like I have uh, some pre uh, pre little tokens here that will be able to, I can just drag onto the screen at any time. So that way, as they walk up and say, hey, I actually want to kind of explore it, then they can walk up to it and I can teleport them to the the gates and then they can you know do whatever exploring they're gonna do and you know have fun looking around trying to find anything you know maybe do a random encounter or something but and then once they're done you know I can have them and then they end up back out onto the road and then you know they can continue on their way and make their way to uh, the village of Barovia and then once they're in there I can have them teleport there and continue on and you know explain you know certain areas of the of the town you know I'll have um, uh, I'll probably turn most of the map icons off so that way they don't know okay this is a building I can go to this is one I can go to and that way as they're walking around and they're exploring and you know they see you know, a creaky sign uh, off the side that you know says Bill Drath Mercantile and they go like oh hey that must be a shop then you know they can walk up to it and then, you know, then I can turn, you know, the icons on. And then I'll probably have them, like I did on the other one, have them off to the side. So that way when, you know, it's ready, it's time for them to actually be able to go to it, then I'll, I'll throw it on the map. And then they can go and do whatever they need to do and, you know, get some, uh, get some shopping done at uh, outrageous prices. And, you know, it, it just kind of run around and explore and then you know once they say okay I, I'm good shopping then I can just have them come back to uh, where they where they need to be at and then I can just send them right back out to the village and once they're back out and they can continue doing any kind of exploring that they're gonna do uh, I went ahead and pre-created about every single map in the village of Bro with the exception of the tavern which I still got to make it and then I have not created a link point to death house yet so uh, that's about the only two that I haven't physically made just yet, but I'm just kind of doing them bit by bit and trying to make the maps as complete as possible before I move on to the next one and doing lighting and setting up music and setting up sounds and things like that, like with the with the church. Uh, you know, I already have it uh, set up with uh, I, my audio file for ambiance music messed up, so I got to reload it. But uh, I do have a lot of some of the, uh, you know, quick sounds that I can do and play. So, like, whenever they walk in and you know they're they're walking around the church and then they just kind of hear I'm so hungry. <laughs> or you know they're they're walking around and uh I'm so hungry. Oops, I played again for some reason um you know as they're walking around or for whatever reason maybe stay the night in in this just dilapidated church you know they would hear hear those screams and you know then they could go and investigate and see you know hey there's a trap door back here and then you know do whatever check 
it is that they're going to do. And then with some of the uh, some of the icons, I actually just have them over just to drag them. So as soon as you know they're ready to to go to one, then you know it'll take them to wherever wherever they need to go at. And then I have a uh, you know same thing where they can just kind of go back and forth, and you know saves me a little bit of saves me a little bit of time and effort. Because I'm all about making this thing as automated as possible. But uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, I really like some of the things that you can do with this and just being able to, to preset some of the stuff up and uh, I'm, I'm a fan of doing this and a fan of uh, you know pre-putting tokens on maps but uh, this to me I think is a little more convenient sometimes because you can kind of have a little bit more control over you know how, how your players you know go and you know explore and you don't feel that it gives them the freedom to be able to run around and kind of do what they want but they can't just click willy-nilly and be able to go anywhere and then you're not prepared for it so it still gives you a little bit of freedom for them and but still some control on your end so that way you can uh, kind of dictate a little bit you know how how they go and where they go and not make sure that they don't uh, take advantage of something but uh, it's got to be careful what you uh, preset up so that way you don't uh, spoil something so so I'm making sure I do a lot of uh, a, a very good thorough overview of everything to make sure that I don't uh, mess up and give anything away before uh, before they really need to but I think that's just gonna about do it for this video if you have any uh, questions about anything specific about how to you know set certain things up just shoot me a message in the comments uh, a lot of some of my previous videos go over you know how to create the teleport and uh, the teleportation areas and you know how to go and you know click on the click on the icon and end up to wherever you're gonna go which I hadn't loaded her scene yet, but uh, but and then I have you know most of them are preset up to all right move thank you and uh, you know then they can you know explore and do whatever they need to do and then I pretty much have everything set up to take them right back to the village of Barovia and drop them off right where they went in at just to make it really convenient but I think that's just about it um, I know I'm gonna create some uh, small little buildings and stuff to be for some of the random encounters that they have in Bar the village of Barovia because it is such a large town but I mean there's only like 10 or 11 PCs that they actually deal with and talk to so I'm gonna create you know some extra things to make the village feel a little bit more alive and then you know create some tiny buildings you know where you know commoners might be living at or might have some like the you know the strad zombies and stuff which I'm not a big fan of it's just like okay you found a, a building of strad zombies okay next building's a like a couple things of barovians and then another strad zombie house and then some ghouls and some more zombies and like that I'm not a big fan of that so I'll, I might either like section an area off like maybe have like you know this area is like pretty much every house is just full of zombies and stuff and like everyone stays away from it or something like that but and then but uh, and then once I create uh, my last uh, last couple things for say like death house uh, I'm gonna have uh, like this one I at least did some of the uh, the music already so I have uh, some of the uh, areas preset up and then I uh, still got to finish all of the uh, all. I haven't done all my tiny sound effects yet, but uh, you know I at least have a lot of the um, a lot of the uh, pre work done. Drop this volume down a little bit so it's not super super loud. But uh, you know just a just a creepy creepy feel to the house. So you know as they're as they're exploring and you know kind of creates a, a good ambiance which I'm a very big fan of and then you know I've already pre pre-built all of my maps like this to, to be able to travel up and down the floors however they're going to and uh, creates a creates a fun little fun experience and makes it a little bit easier so that way they can kind of explore and still get to see things and uh, all that good fun stuff but I think that's uh, going to just about do it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.